Hi everyone, to the bone, this is Darcy, and today I'm going to tell you five tips on how to get the best results with any LED light therapy. And this will work with any mask, panel, any product that you have at home that uses LED light therapy. If you follow these five tips, you get even 10 times better results than you're having right now. So if you want to hear more about it, keep on watching. But before you get to this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Now let's get to it. The reason I love LED light therapy is that it's a treatment that is scientifically proven, has been around for so long, and it was created by NASA. It helps to increase your ATP, which is the energy of the cells. It gives you glow, it helps with fine lines and wrinkles, skin tone, brightness, dark circles, circulation, even healing of bruises or acne. It's one of my favorite treatments because I find that it works with basically all skin types. I also find it's a good beginner tool because there's so many tools in the market today and if a person is not sure what to get, an LED light therapy, any of the tools available in the market today is a good place to start because sometimes you might use that one and see the results that you're looking for and you may not need too many things. And it's such a good tool that can be inserted in anybody's schedule. Usually the treatment time goes from three minutes to 30 minutes depending on the tool that you use and I love it. I can rave about it all day long and I'll actually have another video talking about my top five LED light therapies. So make sure to check that out. But on this video, I wanna give you five tips on how to get the best results from any LED light therapy that you currently have. Tip number one, a clean face is a must with any face treatment, but especially with LED light therapy, it's very important to not have any moisturizer, any oils, and any sunblock. Make sure you clean your face really well, especially if you use daily sunblock, because sunblock can actually prevent the light from penetrating into your skin. So you have to have a very fresh, clean face. So wash your face right before, make sure it's fully clean. There are certain serums and treatments that you can use during your light therapy, but they're usually special ones that I'm gonna talk about on the later tips. It's always best to just do in a clean face, that way you're gonna get the best results from your treatment in case the serum that you have at home may have any ingredient that may cause irritation or may actually give you a diverse reaction mixed with the light therapy. So you have to be really careful to use specific serums or best, the safest way, use nothing at all on a clean face, you will get the best results. Tip number two, exfoliate. It's always good to do a gentle exfoliation right before you do a light therapy because that removes all the dead cells, all the skin just sitting on top of your face, but make sure you do a gentle exfoliation. You don't wanna do any acids that may linger on your skin because if you do that and put the light on top, it will actually cause an irritation. So I would suggest a light exfoliation right before or if you wanna do a deep exfoliation with acids, do the night before. But if you do treatments such as microneedling or microdermabation, that doesn't use any harsh serums on your skin, you can actually do a light therapy right after to help to heal your skin from microdermabrasion or microneedling. You just make sure to watch what you put in your face before you use light therapy, but exfoliating is really good to get the light really deep on your skin layer and give you even better results. I'm gonna suggest a couple of products I personally love to use, and they have worked really well for me and I have used for many, many years. One is from Amore Pacific and is their Treatment Enzyme Peel. I have been using this for so many years. This is the old package. I still have a little bit in it because I live in different bathrooms, and this is the new package but it's the same product. And this one, even though it has enzymes in it, I have no problem using right before because it is a wash off. It doesn't have any anything that lingers and it does such a good job on deep cleaning your skin right before any any treatment really. Even I do even before microcurrent and I find that this is such a good job. And all you need is a little bit. I have actually, I have reviewed this many times on my channel and I've been buying for many years. It's a great, great product. It's expensive, but a little bit goes a long way. And if you are looking for a very good gentle product for that exfoliates deeply, takes the layer of the skin without irritation whatsoever, and I have extremely sensitive skin, so I highly recommend this for any skin types. It's amazing. Another deep exfoliation that I like to do the night before, not the day of, is from Dr. Dennis Gross and is the Alpha Beta Ultra Gentle Daily Peel. I like personally to use the gentle peel and I still find it very effective, but they have different strengths of it. They have, you know, the regular one, the ultra strength, you know, and this is the gentle one, which I personally like better because I have sensitive skin, but I have being able to use all of them with no problem. I like to use this night before because it is a treatment and it kind of stays a little bit on your face. So I wouldn't use this right before light therapy, but the night before. This one is a two-step treatment. So you use the first little 
towel all over your face, wait two minutes, and then you do the, the second treatment. And then it's a great treatment to do at night because you just leave it on your skin and you can put your moisturizer on top and go to sleep. This says it's a daily treatment, but to be honest, I wouldn't use this daily, even if you have normal skin. Exfoliation is good, but you don't want to overdo it, especially if you do other type of exfoliations, like enzyme exfoliations. You have to be careful what are you using. So even though it says daily peel, I would use this maybe twice a week or once a week, or if you, your skin can really take it, maybe three times a week. But I'm not sure I use it daily, so it's up to you. But I love this treatment. It's one of my favorites, and I highly recommend. It's actually always good to exfoliate on a weekly basis, and I have a whole video talking about exfoliation. I'll leave that in the description box below. Tip number three, products to amplify results. There are specifically products or ingredients that are made to help amplify the results of LED light therapy. And I'm gonna start with one that you can do at home, which is green tea. Green tea help you get 10 times better results with any LED light therapy. And it's really simple. All you're gonna need is literally one green tea bag, and you can brew the tea, and let, let it cool off or put it on the, on the refrigerator and you can get a cotton and put on your face. Don't wash it off, have the green tea on your face during your treatment and anybody can make it home, it's super affordable and you can get 10 times better results if you use before you do your light therapy at least 10 minutes. And I have the scientific research on the description box below if you wanna read about it, there's actually been tests and it does work. Green tea is super antioxidants, so it really helps to amplify the results of your light therapy. You can also use green tea serums, green tea toners, and you can use any of those. Just make sure to read ingredient list that the, whatever serum you use that contains green tea, it doesn't have any acids or retinols or anything that will cause irritation during the light treatment. A serum that I personally love and give me great results with one use is from Light Stem and is the Photo Serum Skin Care with Photosomes. Contain a plant that has photosomes that helps to amplify the light therapy, is also super antioxidant, has amazing ingredients, and it just works. It amplifies results from the first use. But I also recommend that if you decide to get it, to get it on sale because it's quite pricey, but it does last a long time. And I do have an empty one here that lasts me a long time. And this is my newest one, and I will continue buying it because I find that if I have a special occasion or if I find my f I haven't used the light therapy for a long time and I just want to get a pick me up, I'll use this. And for the other treatments, I use the green tea, and I find that I get great results. So this one I highly recommend. Another treatment that helps to accelerate the results is from Current Body is the Hydrogel Face Mask. I love this mask. It's really good. It's like a gel mask that you put on your face. It feels nice and cooling. You can use this with any of your panels or masks. It doesn't have to be the Current Body mask. It works really well with it, but you can use it with any of them. If you want to amp up the results or have a plumping effect right before an event, this one is definitely a good one. And now they have one for the neck as well. I don't use it all the time, I just use it once in a while, but I do love it and I definitely recommend it. Not all sheet masks work with LED treatment. If you want to use a regular sheet mask, you can totally use it before the LED treatment or after the LED light treatment. But if it's a sheet mask that is not see-through and is not made to be used with LED treatments, it will actually make your treatment not work because the light will not be able to penetrate. You still get good results from the face mask, but it won't it will not get any effects from the actual LED light therapy. If you want to use a treatment during, make sure it is something that says that it can be used with LED masks. That's the only thing to make sure to watch out for. Tip number four, what to use after. LED light treatment, it's really good, but especially if you use it consistently, I find that it can be a bit dry to the skin. So you want to make sure that if you don't do anything before or during, to for sure do a treatment after. And what I mean do a treatment after, you can do any sheet mask that you have at home or make sure to apply a good serum followed by a good moisturizer. The skin after the LED dry treatment is actually more open to receive any nutrients. It's a really good way to get the best buck for your serums and creams to use right after LED light therapy. Also, if you are somebody that loves to use microcurrent tools, the best time to use them is actually right after you do your LED light treatments because LED lights help to relax the muscles. It also helps to improve circulation. So any of your microcurrent tools will work even better after you do your LED light treatments. And I have a lot of videos talking about microcurrent, giving you tutorials, so I'll leave those in the description box below. Doing a very good treatment after your LED treatment is a really good way to get even better results. Tip number five, consistency. 
LED lights work, guys. It's a proven treatment, scientifically proven. There's so much research around there, but you have to use it consistently. Some tools require three times a week. Some tools require daily use. So it really depends on the tool that you're using, read the instructions. And a lot of the tools also have a treatment time. Then you go into maintenance mode. Because so if you are looking for an LED mask, I think the main thing should be budget and schedule. You need to find something that is within your price range and that you can actually use because again consistent it's really really important as far as tools i have a lot of great videos talking about led light therapy that i love and i have done many reviews i'll leave all those in the description box below if you're in the market for led light tools one review that i haven't posted yet but i wanted to mention on this video the brand is cure and is their led light therapy mask I had this mask for a while, I actually purchased myself, but I'm gonna have a review coming up for you guys, more detail, but I wanted to mention, because if you're looking for a mask, this is a really good one. It has both the red and the blue. You also have the option to use this with an app, which is literally the first one that I've seen on the market that does that. And you can choose to customize it. Let's say you wanna do anti-aging in your forehead, but you have a zit and you wanna do acne blue on on your cheeks. You can customize it, your nose, your chin, any part to mix the treatment to do both anti-aging acne or you can do anti-aging or acne. It's a really, really good mask, guys. As far as the specs, it has professional grade lights and it's only three minutes long, guys. Three minutes. That is my favorite thing about this mask. The only thing that I'm not crazy about is because it is a hard mask, so it doesn't bend but it's still pretty comfortable to use. It doesn't leave any marks on my face. But I'll talk more about it when I do the ranking videos on my top five masks. So make sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss that video out. But I will leave all my reviews that I've done so far on the description box below if you need any more information about different tools that are in the market today. If you have any questions, please make sure to comment below. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I hope you're healthy and safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.